As the 2012 season draws to a close, the world of Rugby League rolls out the red carpet and ditch the tries for the tuxedos as they celebrate the 2012 Man of Steel Awards. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't, you know, I'll, be, I'll be happy with it in the uh, top three. Well, it's, it's an honour to be nominated. Whoever wins it, I'm sure it's uh... If I did go on to win it, it'd be a huge bonus. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm happy enough being in the shortlist. It says a lot about that player throughout the season and what their peers think of them, so I think it's a, it's a huge honour for them to win it. And just to be nominated for them, it shows what, what their peers mean, you know, what, it, what it means to them. I'm really pleased all three are, are English, you know, they can represent the national team, and uh, so we're short of at least one win tonight. And it gives me great pleasure to announce that the 2012 Super League Club of the Year is the Wigan Warriors. How does it feel to hold the Club of the Year award in your hand? Fabulous. I think it's a great accolade for Wigan. We put a lot of effort into a lot of things apart from just on the pitch. And it's nice when it's recognised. Jamie Peacock, MBE. Congratulations, an amazing award for you to win. How do you feel? Yeah, I'm very honoured and very humbled to win it. It's, some, uh, it's a fantastic award anyway, named after a great person. Uh, Mike Gregory was a hero of mine as I, I was growing up watching rugby and uh, just to receive the award and his name's great. And the previous winners, uh, such as Steve, Steve Prescott, great friends, it's great to win it with them as well. I mean, you've achieved so much so far, haven't you? What would be the highlight for you? Well, it's, that's difficult. You know, I, I think that's a, probably a sign of having a good career that's difficult to produce. You know, think about any highlight. This is definitely up there. Just, just for what it means, character-wise and value-wise, to receive this award. And the young player of the year is Zach Hardacre of Leeds. Yeah, not so proud really. Um, it's been a big year, and uh, it's not finished yet. Obviously, we've got the job to on Saturday, but um, I've really enjoyed this year, and uh, yeah, I'm really proud of yeah. you. Earlier you said you were nervous, how do you feel now? A lot better now. Um, I was really quite nervous uh, before but when they announced uh, the nominees. Um, I took a couple of glasses of water to uh, try and settle it, but no, no, no I've got it and uh, can breathe normal now. And for you, what does this mean? Um, it's just kept off a, a really good two years that I've had. Um, obviously, I'm not finished yet, I've got many years at Leeds, and, uh, but the first two years uh, have been important to me and uh, I've really enjoyed it, I've really settled in really well. And uh, yeah, this, this just tops it off um, really. Um, I'm really proud of myself and what, what I've achieved, uh, and I'm only 20, so uh, hopefully many more to come and uh, many trophies in the cabinet. I mean, you won the same award at championship level, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, so, what's next for you? Well, I'm not sure. I'd like to see get that trophy that Sam's got. Uh, that, 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 that looked better than this one, so uh, I might have to get that one next year. But no, uh, like I said, I'd rather have a team performance and uh, the team do well. And uh, this comes off the back of, back of the, what you do for the team. So uh, yeah, just, just really proud of the moment. The winner of the Man of Steel 2012 is Sam Tompkins. <laughs> Um, I'm probably not, not used to it just yet. It's, it's a little bit surreal. Um, you know, it's, it's a massive honour. I, I couldn't be happier with it. Of course, you were nominated last year. You lost out last year. Was it a shock for you to win this year or not? Yeah, it's, it is a shock. You know, I think there's some great players nominated, and, and Ben Westwood's been as standard as, as, as Robbie is every single year. Um, you know, so it, it was an honour to be to be nominated, but to, to pick it up, it's, it's pretty special here. Well, they say a player is only as good as the player they play with. I mean, how much do you put this award down to your teammates? Massively. I think you, we play a team sport, and, and no one in rugby league gets anywhere without the, the other lads in your squad. And um, like, you know, massive credit has to, has to go to all them. Um, I think I'm lucky in the position I play a lot of the time. You, you get to put the ball over the line, and, and your name's in the paper. And it's not them, them big blokes in the middle that have been battling all through the game to get you that space. So, you know, it's you know, I, I do tell I do appreciate it. Um, I'm probably just the lucky one at the end of it.
I mean, you've missed out on the grand finals. Does this, in a, your own way, make up for it? Um, I'd, I'd swap it for a grand final appearance, if I'm honest. But um, you know, it makes it a little bit easier. I think we're, we're gutted as a team, and for me personally, I didn't get to play that last game either. So it's ended on a bit of a sour note. Um, but yeah, this is this is picked up a little bit. And where will that be going? Um, I think my mum will be taking this on tonight. You've got some support here tonight, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, my mum's um, been before to the, to the Manchester Day with me and, um, you know, I think my mum and dad have done a, a lot for me over the years, so, you know, she loves coming in, gets to dress up and all that, so it's, um, it's a nice way of playing about. Congratulations to all the winners tonight. They've played their part to make a tremendous 2012 season. It's been turbulent at times, but we're ready to do it all again for 2013.